Hi, my name is Bill, and today I'm going to be showing you how to replace the pantry support in your refrigerator. The reason why you might have to do this is because this port is broken or damaged. For this repair, we'll be using a quarter inch nut driver and a Phillips head screwdriver. Warning, before doing any repairs, please disconnect your power source. So this is the refrigerator we're going to be using for this demonstration. It's a Maytag, and keep in mind yours at home might be a little bit different than what we have here, but the same technique should still apply. So what we're going to do is open both of our doors up. And now I'm going to take the drawers out. And those just slide straight out. And now we're going to take this shelf out carefully. This shelf is just a glass shelf. So we don't want to drop it or damage it in any way. Now we'll take out the middle shelf support. There we go. And now we'll go to the bottom. We can take the pantry drawer out here. And again, that just slides straight out. And now we'll take out this piece of glass right here, another shelf. And you just want to be careful again not to damage it. And now what we're going to do is we're going to take these trim pieces out so those just slide right back and we'll push down on them and they pop right off. And same thing on this side, just pops out, pushing it down a little bit and pulling it back and it snaps out. And now we're going to remove the two screws holding this support down. And with those screws out, we can just lift up and pull this out. And there's a support behind that, which you can also pull out as well. Now I can pick up this shelf support and take it out. Now I'm going to take my quarter inch nut driver and I want to remove this screw in the middle here. And that will free the lever. We can pull that right off. Okay. Now you can grab your new OEM replacement pantry support. If you don't have one already, you can find it on our online store. So now we're going to put the lever back onto our support. And that goes into the slot that's up there. And then the hole in the middle where that screw hole is. And we'll use our quarter inch nut driver to screw that back down. Now we'll put the support back in. And slide it all the way back. And it'll drop into the slots there, like so. So now I'll put this metal guard in first. And We'll lift up the support here and set the guard in just like that. Now we can put this in and we're going to make sure that this lever here goes into a slot right there and you'll see the gray slide that moves back and forth. So when you put that into the slide, you're just going to want to make sure it lines up. And then just make sure that these two tabs go into the slots there. Test out your slide. And once you've made sure that all works, you can screw it down. Now we'll put the glass shelf back in place. And that'll set right on that support there. And there we go. Now we can put the bottom shelf back in. And you just want to make sure that the door glide goes up and into its 
space and everything should open and close nice and easy just like that and now to put this back in place all we have to do is line up that long slot there with the long piece there and this slot right here with these two tabs is where this longer part goes and that sits in there and the other part on the bottom should slide straight in and it'll snap into place now we'll put our shelf back into place and you're going to want to make sure that the rounded end that has the cutout back here goes towards the back and once you've got it in place it should sit on both the supports on either end and now we can put our glass shelf back into place angling it because the doors are wide and once you've got it in there gently set it on the shelf just like that now we're going to put our crisper drawers back in and what you're going to want to do is just make sure the wheels on either side line up with the track there so it slides in nice and easy same thing on this side lining up those wheels with the track and you'll see right there it wasn't lined up so it didn't go in we'll try it again and there we go now we can close our refrigerator doors and your repair is complete finally don't forget to plug in your appliance if you need to replace any parts for your appliances you can find an OEM replacement part on our website, PCApplianceRepair.com. Thanks for watching, and please don't forget to like, comment, and share our video. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Your support helps us make more videos just like these for you to watch for free.